At least you can figure out. It's the song of the redeemed Rising from the African plain It's the song of the forgiven Drowning out the Amazon rain The song of Asian believers Filled with God's holy fire Every tribe, every tongue, every nation, love song warm and a grateful choir. It's all God's children singing glory, glory, hallelujah, he reigns, he reigns. It's all God's children singing glory, glory. as World Communion Day, and as we were thinking about that, we realized that we get a taste of that global church in our own congregation with the many gifts of those who come from countries other than the United States. And so you can see the altar has been 
decorated with this beautiful uh, gifts that have been shared with various members that I'll talk about later in the service. And we'll be singing songs from almost every continent this morning. Uh, so we give thanks to God for this diverse and beautiful church that is all over the globe, all over the world, um, that we share in communion with today. So we begin today with a song from Japan.
to all the joyful gospel. Hallelujah. We sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah. We sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah. We sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah. We sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. I got so into that, I almost didn't know what we were supposed to do next. Let us pray. God, we give you thanks, we sing your praises, we say alleluia, for you have gathered us here today with all our many gifts and all our expressions of faith, of all our lived experiences, and all the ways those are different and the same. We give you thanks, and we pray that you would let your spirit move in our hearts, fill us with gladness and send us out. In your name we pray. Amen. Children of the Heavenly Father, safely in his bosom gather, nestling bird or star of heaven, such a refuge there was given. God his own doth tend and nourish, in his holy court they flourish, from all evil things he spares them, in his mighty arms he bears them. Neither life nor death shall ever from the Lord his children sever. Unto them his grace he showeth, and their sorrows all he knoweth. Though he giveth his children never forsaken is the loving purpose only to preserve him pure and holy children of the heavenly father safely in his bosom gather nestling bird God's peace with one another. Peace be with you. We'll work on the clapping. <laughs> and this one's the next one. Can I, stay sitting? Can I, stay sitting? I think that's after the sermon. Oh, okay. Like the I prayers. Go what? Huh? I gotta go over there. Yeah, I think so. I'm not in charge. You need to ask these questions of Liz. She's being all wishy washy. A gift from our children. Would any other kids like to come up and, and hang out in the front to hear them? You guys want an audience of your peers? Why don't you guys come on up and have a seat facing them so you can Stay hear? Behind me. Stay back behind me. Just a little bit. There you go. Right behind. There we go. Any other kids want to come up?
so you guys can be supportive. Now, now I've invited you up, but you can't distract them, right? You know, you got to be supportive. You got to be supportive. All right. We have this gift. We have this gift of music from our VIP. practice so and now I'm gonna send you all forth to Sunday school you're gonna follow Miss Patsy who's right back in there and you can follow her out Hi, Christian. at this time we continue our service with scripture we have two readings today the first is from Isaiah which will be read to us in Spanish, and the second is from the letter to the Ephesians, which will be read in English. Palabra que Iseos, hijo de Amos, recibió en visión acerca de Judá y Jerusalén. En los últimos días, el monte de la casa del Señor será establecido como el más alto de los montes, se alzará por encima de las colinas, y así el confluirán todas las naciones. Muchos pueblos vendrán y dirán, vengan, subamos al monte del Señor, a la casa del Dios de Jacob, para que nos enseñe sus caminos y andemos por sus sendas, porque de Sion saldrá la enseñanza de Jerusalén, la palabra del Señor. Él juzgará entre las naciones y será árbitro de muchos pueblos, convitarán sus espadas en árados y sus lanzas en hoches. No levantará espada nación contra nación, y nunca más se adicitarán para la vida. At this time, we'll have our reading from Ephesians. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. I, therefore, the prisoner in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling. 
one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. So as I was reading uh, this letter to the Ephesians this week, I was mulling it over and, and Paul uses the word one seven times in the scripture. One body, one spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God. So it's little wonder that all week I've had a certain song playing in my head. You say one love, one life, when it's one need in the night. It's one love, we get to share it. It leaves you, baby, if you don't care for it. You too. Anybody recognize the song? You too, the rock band from the 80s into the 90s into the 2000s from Ireland, of all places, playing in my ear because Paul just happens to use this word seven times. One, 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 one body, one spirit, one hope. Seven times. Unity. Unity. God calling us to be unified, to be the body of Christ. The divisions that have separated us are no more. Class, social situation, race, ethnicity, all these things. This is what Paul is looking out into the early church, seeing how many barriers and walls are instituted all over society and tells the church of Ephesus, you are one body, unity. We are one in Christ. This song echoing in my ears. But I gotta be honest that I wasn't hearing it in the voice of you two, or Michelle. <laughs> I was hearing it in the voice of Mary J. Blige who is an American R&B singer and who covered the song somewhere in like 2000 something. And how about that? The same song, but in a different voice, in a different sound. And she belts this song out. And she sings this one line in the crescendo of the song at the top of her lungs, we're one but we're not the same. One love, one life, one need in the night. It's one love, but we're not the same. We get to carry each other, carry each other one. Is what we celebrate today. This is what we're celebrating with all these songs we don't really know or we're not sure how to sing. In languages we may not understand, we celebrate that we're one, but we're not the same. Songs from Japan, from Sweden, from Liberia and South Africa, from Central America, we look at our altar and we see the beauty of this oneness that does not make us the same. Objects from Liberia, from Germany, from Latvia, from Ethiopia, out of our own congregation, the beauty and artwork and expression of faith shared. This is what we celebrate, that we are one but not the same the gospel according to you two. 
I thought about this when I reflected on one of my favorite classes in seminary. I took it in my last semester. It was Global Church. And what it was, it was simply taking advantage of the fact that we lived in Chicago, this big city with many peoples and many neighborhoods and communities. And we went and said, we're going to go and experience the global church in our city. There are so many immigrants in Chicago and communities of immigrants and, and churches that foster that expression of faith. So we went, we went to a Coptic church, Egyptians worshiping from the ancient, ancient traditions of North Africa that go far, far back into our church history. We went to services that were spoken in Aramaic the language of Jesus. As refugees spoke, spoke the words of the Lord's Prayer in the language of Christ. We went to a church of the Nigerian denomination that had people from West Africa and East Africa and Southern Africa praising and worshiping God with hands up and dance. And this was very different from the church we went to that was filled with immigrants from India who took off their shoes before going for communion because it was holy ground. These expressions of faith that cross the globe, cross theology and culture and expression. We're one, but we're not the same. This is our celebration. But it's also a challenge. It's a challenge. Because really, I feel like we'd rather say we're one because we are the same. We'd rather say we are the same. Same beliefs, same teachings, same songs, same views. We'd rather not see difference or pretend that it's not there. Sometimes we say things like, I don't see skin color as if this isn't a beautiful thing, that we all are different and gorgeous and God's creation. We are one, but we're not the same. Or at least sometimes we act as if we are one, but with an acceptable level of difference. You know, an acceptable level of what can be different that won't rock the boat too much, that we can at least understand or comprehend or, or sort of feel like maybe we're on the same ground here. We resist this challenge. What if you two had told Mary J. Blige, no, you can't sing our song. That's our song song the way we sing it with a full rock band in the voice of Bono. You can't use your own gifts and your own sound to sing this song. We are one not because we have the same languages or the same cultures or the same words to describe God. We are not one because we have the same experiences, even in this own, our own country here, our own community here. We are not one because if people all lived in our country or with our kind of life and our kind of views, then that would make us one. We are not one because we ignore difference or pretend it doesn't matter or that difference isn't a beautiful creation from God. We are not one because we are not, because we are the same, we are one in Christ. One Spirit, one Lord, one God. The Imago Dei 
is in all of us and in the image of our community, the image of God. We need those expressions of faith, those expressions of celebration, those expressions of beauty and of joy and of grief and of sorrow. We need our brothers and sisters who are Catholic and Presbyterian and Baptist and Pentecostal and, yes, non-denominational. We need our brothers and sisters who are the Church of Jesus Christ in Nigeria and Liberia, in El Salvador and Mexico, in Japan and India, in France and Hungary and Germany. One body does not smooth out all the ways that we are different, all the ways we worship, all our beautiful languages and our beautiful stories, all the ways the Spirit moves. We are one because of one Spirit, one Lord, one God. One spirit that moves mysteriously through these broken vessels of ours, through these broken hearts and broken lives and broken expressions and somehow makes us whole. One body, one spirit, one hope. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God. I can be someone who wants things just a certain way. Anybody else like that? Amen? You guys can talk back to me. Just the certain way. And I definitely have lots of opinions about church and faith. And in college, where you get a whole bunch of people, 18, 19, 20-year-olds who think they know everything in the world, it was there that I hit up against things I just did not get. And it was there that I had friends, friends whose traditions and experiences and expressions were nothing like my own. And I had one friend whose theology did not look like mine in my 19-year-old's construction of it. Right? And she went to a church that I would never have attended myself regularly. And it's still, if I look back, I still would not have gone there. But it was her who saw me at my weakest, saw the turmoil in my mind, the darkness in my heart. It was her who reached out her hand and held mine. She didn't know what it was, but she saw it, the spirit moved in her and moved her to pray for me, to hold my hand, to pray for whatever it was that was carrying me down. It was her who reached for her Bible, took out the words of Psalms, and spoke life and light into my darkness. past all that would divide us, past things that may or may not have mattered. One body, one spirit, one hope. In Christ, we are one, but we are not the same. Thanks be to God. Amen. Yeah. And
and we are giving a hallelujah, amen, because we have members of our congregation who are going to share their gifts uh, today with us, led by Auntie Yogi Jeffy, uh, who is, her country of origin is from Liberia, and we have Cameroon represented with her. Am I missing any, anything else? Yeah, Cameroon and Liberia, and they're going to help lead a song this morning that we are all welcome to join in with. So you guys can come on up. We have uh, Relindis and Florence and Hastings and Uncle Alex and Yar um, and my, my lovely ladies who are in their matching outfits who look glorious. Um, so we invite you to stand and join in this song as they help lead us. Come and go with me into my father's house. Into my father's house. Into my father's house. Come and go with me into my father's house. It is joy, joy, joy. Come and go with me into my father's house. Into my father's house. One more in English. Come and go with me into my father's house. Into my father's house. Into my father's house. Come and go with me into my father's house. There's joy, joy, joy. Amen. Yes, you by that you have created us to be. In all our broken prayers and broken promises and struggles and confusion, in all the ways that we have built up walls 
to keep, keep others out and protect ourselves. We pray that you would tear those walls down. Tear down what divides us from one another, from our community and from those around us. We pray that you would unite your church, unite us all across the globe, so that with one voice we may be salt and light and yeast, so that your spirit would move in our hearts to shake things up. We pray for the countries that are represented among us. We pray for the people of Latvia and Germany, the people of Ethiopia, of Cameroon and Liberia, the people of Nigeria, and any other countries in our midst. We pray for those who are crying out to you in the midst of violence and war, and we await the day when we will beat our swords into plowshares. We pray, too, for all those who are struggling in mind, body, and spirit. For Kimberly Beery, Meg Reidler, Earl Lydell, Harlan Sapi, Cindy Baptiste, Tracy Shirk, Will Eidson, Christina Ickes, David Schaefer, Linda Olson, Pat Ramsey, Harold Kaler, Susan Franklin, Jeff Becker, Roz DeVoe, Steve Baker, Matt Kelly, and his family, Robert Thomas, Bob Gee, Denise Solt, Kathleen Sackett, and all others we name in this moment. Jesus of Nazareth, the Christ your own, to call your splintered creation together again. And when the stubborn forces of evil threatened to bring his life to an end, he called his followers together for a meal. And he took bread, and he broke it, gave thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, blessed it, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Now on this day, his followers all around the world are gathering at table to remember and share. And we are among those who are coming to this feast of love. In remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Christ, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. O holy God, creator of all people and worlds, fill us with the Holy Spirit that we may be one body and one spirit in Christ. All glory and honor is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Holy, holy, my heart, my heart adores you, my heart is glad to say the words, you are holy God. 
Let us pray as one. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You may be seated as we welcome our communion assistants forward. All are welcome to this meal. This is not just a Lutheran meal. All are welcome to share in the body and blood of Christ. Before now the feast is spread. Come, let us eat for now the feast is spread. Our Lord's body let us take together. Our Lord's body let us drink together. Come, let us drink for now the wine is poured. Come, let us drink, for now the wine is poured. Jesus' blood poured, let us drink together. Jesus' blood poured, let us drink together. In Jesus' presence now we meet and rest. In Jesus' presence now we meet and rest. The presence of our Lord we gather. In the presence of our Lord we gather. Rise then to spread upon God's mighty word. Rise then to spread upon God's mighty word. Jesus risen will bring in the kingdom. Jesus risen will bring in the kingdom. Come, let us eat, for now the feast is spread. Come, let us eat, for now the feast is spread. Our Lord's body let us take together. Our Lord's body let us take together.
thanks for this body and this blood that unites our wills and our hearts. May we go out strengthened, renewed, uplifted, and emboldened to proclaim your love, your grace, your mercy, the one God, one spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A few announcements. And I'm going to say, I had a this weekend, so I got in last night after midnight, which means when Pastor Carl was doing the announcements at the 8 o'clock service, I wasn't paying very atten much attention. <laughs> so you all check out in service? Sometimes your pastor does, too. <laughs> but I'm going to do the best at going through his chicken scratch here. So, uh, today, Confirmation Kids are headed out to Slate Run uh, at noon. So, if you are a Confirmation Kid or of that age, you can join them. You can talk to Jim. Wave your hand, Jim. Uh, who will be <laughs> heading out that group at noon. It's just a time to have some fun and all that good stuff. Uh, then, uh, there's something going on with Kairos. This is the thing that I don't remember. So go out in the Welcome Center and see if there's something about Kairos out there. I know that they have a Kairos weekend going on. Um, and so you can keep Mac and Richard in your prayers. There may be some posters out there for you to sign. Um, and don't tell Richard I messed this up. So uh, he's not here, is he? Okay. <laughs> uh, so then Wednesday, Messiah night. Uh, we have our class going on. Uh, Pastor Carl is teaching about Martin Luther and the Reformation. We are going into our year of the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. Uh, so this is kind of a, a look into that period and time. And it's also a really exciting time. If we're talking about unity today, we're going to be celebrating the Reformation with our Catholic sisters and brothers um, all across the nation and in this state and in our own community here. So... Also, Wednesday night, uh, we are having, we're starting something new, the prayer service uh, at 8, 7.30 after adult education. So you can stick around when you come out for the meal at 5.30 and then class at 
We'll have a short prayer service, about a half an hour. For anything, you know, sometimes you just can't even manage to get through the week, right? Uh, you can't even tr quite get yourself to Sunday. So we're taking this time. We're going to be trying this out uh, once a month. It be led in, the music will be led by Brian Peters, who's really, really talented, great blues singer in Columbus, and who helped lead our 430 service. So he's going to be helping with that. There will be a time of, for those who would like to come forward for anointing, uh, if there's anything healing of any kind, either body or emotional or spirit, uh, you can come forward for that, and we'll just have a time of prayer at 7.30. So come on out for that. Also, we have uh, the property committee is looking for volunteers to help do some painting, uh, just kind of freshen up the walls around here. So you can talk to Jeff Campbell. His information's in the bulletin board. If you'd like to, you know, put on your paint clothes, and, and help out with that. So you can volunteer for that. And then also we will be collecting blankets for First English Lutheran Church, one of the churches that we partner with in Columbus. So you can bring in any blankets you find or have or buy and bring them here and we will get them to that church uh, where we often help with meals and such. Lastly, I just wanted to comment about the kinds of things we have up on our altar today. Uh, like I said, we have many things represented this morning. So we have uh, some amber jewelry from the Baltic Sea, which is our member who was originally born in Latvia, uh, Baruta, at our 8 o'clock service. So it's really gorgeous. I kind of want to take it home with me. Um, <laughs> there are no earrings, though. But. Uh, we also have a German Bible and German hymnal, which I feel like is very German, right? Right, <laughs> Axel, that you got your object is your German Bible. Um, this is from our, our member Axel, who is originally born in Germany uh, to represent Germany. We also have Cameroon. Uh, Florence brought this in. Uh, she told me the Queen. Where are you, Florence? I can't even. There you go. The Queen, right? Uh, an image of our, our Queen. And we have all this beautiful cloth from Auntie Yogi, uh, who is from Liberia, uh, Yogi Jeffy and Alex Jeffy. Um, and we have many uh, Liberians in, in Columbus area, too. And we have kente cloth here, um, woven baskets, this beautiful tall giraffe. And then we also have from Salamawit, who is Ethiopian, who. Uh, uh, usually comes to the 11 o'clock service, this coffee pot with a small, small cup. And this, I told her she has to teach me how to, to make this because I love coffee and I will <laughs> learn every form possible. <laughs> so it looks amazing. So these are the, the many beautiful gifts that are shared in our congregation. They're gifts of the world, gifts of the one body of Christ in all its wealth and beauty and God's creation. So we give thanks. I invite you to stand for our benediction as we close. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you God's peace. Amen. Amen. Temptation comes when someone stands to fight. Anytime somebody lives to serve and not be served. I know, I know, I know, I know. God is on the move, on the move. Hallelujah. God is on the move in many mighty ways. God is on the move, on the move. Hallelujah. God is on the move, on the move today. Weakness, someone falls upon their knees or dares to speak the truth and sets men free. Anytime the choice is made to stand up on the word, I know, I know, I know, I know. God is on the move, on the move, hallelujah. God is on the move in many mighty ways. God is on the move, on the move, hallelujah. God is on the move, on the move today. Search 
searching soul and someone says send me here i go i know i know i know i know god is on the move on the move hallelujah god is on the move in many mighty ways god is on the move on the move hallelujah god is on the move on the move today god is on the move on the move hallelujah god is on the move in many mighty ways god is on the move on the move hallelujah god is on the move on the move today God, peace, and serve the Lord. I was too into the song. 